Hey, this is Edward Stinger, founder of Videoplasty, and in this video, I want us to have a look at the Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020. And uh, what I love about the Movavi software and their entire ecosystem in terms of uh, video software is that they offer solutions that are incredibly user friendly, super easy to use, and uh, they are very, very affordable. Obviously, the Movavi Video Editor Plus is a consumer level video editing software, but you know, your first video editing software doesn't have to be expensive and it doesn't have to be complicated. And uh, that's where the Movavi Video Editor Plus comes super handy. So without further ado, let's have a quick look at the software and what you can do with it. Alright, so when you first open the software, it's gonna look something like this. And if you've never opened a video editing software before, you know, it might look a tiny little bit confusing, but don't worry, it's actually super simple to use. So here on the bottom half, we have what is called the timeline, which is where we do pretty much all of the editing. Here on the top right, where you see this window with play buttons, this is where you can preview uh, your timeline and uh, your edit so far. And here on the top left in this area, we have um, quite a couple of things, right? So this is where you can import media like videos and footage, images, music, or just add all sorts of different effects, transitions, titles, stickers, and a lot of other settings basically. So this is kind of like multitasking here. So first off, let's just import a couple of videos and start doing a little bit of editing to see what's possible here. So I already have some footage selected on my computer and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop it here into the software. And as you can see, now if you go to the media bin, you can actually preview all of the footage. If you just click on it like this, you can see a preview here in the preview window. So now I'm just gonna select those two clips and add them here on the timeline on a video track. And um, now if I just play back the timeline, you will see the playhead going from the beginning from zero seconds all the way to five seconds and so on. And um, trimming the videos is actually super simple. You just grab them at the end. You're gonna see the cursor changing to something like this. And then you just move it like this to make the video shorter. And of course you can do the exact same thing at the beginning of the video like this and adjust the video length like this. It's actually super, super simple. Now let's have another look at uh, what we have here on the rest of the tabs. So we can also add a couple of sound effects that come directly with the software, which I think comes in super handy, especially when you're just starting out as a YouTuber or a filmmaker. You might not have access to a massive library of files, and this is actually super, super useful. So if you wanna listen to either one of those, just click on it, and you're gonna hear a preview here. And if you wanna download more, definitely click this button right here to find a lot more files available on the Movavi store. They have a lot of uh, different music tracks available if you want to add some sort of music to your video, which is gonna come in super handy. So for example, let's say this uh, one inspiration. Yeah, let's just add it here. And um, I'm actually going to move here to the right, grab the song all the way to the end to make it shorter because I don't want the full, um, the full music that's like, I don't know, two, three minutes long. I just want it to be as long as my edit, which is 10 seconds, as you can see here. And using those uh, buttons here on the bottom, I'm actually gonna zoom in on the timeline so I can see better what, what I'm doing. All right, so next, if you go here, you're gonna find some sample videos as well, like some sort of stock footage. Um, I don't know, money falling from the sky and a lot of other <laughs> different things that uh, you, know, you might find super useful for your, for your project. And again, if you need more, don't forget you can click on this button and download a lot more files um, from the Movavi store. They also have some backgrounds. Uh, we're gonna look at this a little bit later, but for example, if you wanna add text against the background, that's not just a simple you know, black background, you can definitely you know, use one of those backgrounds. It's gonna be super useful. And they also have a lot of different effects packages that you can get from the Movavi store. Uh, but unfortunately, I cannot preview those. If you're interested in checking them out, make sure to just click on them. And it's gonna take you to the website uh, where you can actually purchase uh, either one of those that you like and you find useful for your particular project. 
Next, I want us to have a quick look at filters. They have a lot of different effects that you can use. So either like mirroring, uh, inverting the colors, and keep in mind, if you want to preview either one of those filters, just uh, click on it and you're going to see a preview here on the right. So let's say, for example, I like this glass mosaic. So the way to add it to either one of your videos or assets here on the timeline is you just simply drag and drop it here on top. And now, as you can see, we have the you know glass thing here going on. There are actually plenty of effects that uh, you can use for your videos. I'm not going to go through all of them, but, uh, you know, feel free to explore. I mean, there's absolutely nothing you can break. So uh, just find the ones that you like. And then you just drag and drop it onto the video like this. And you're going to see a preview here. So next, I want us to have a look at a quick look at transitions. Again, they have a lot of different transitions. And if you want more, you can always go to the effect store to get some uh, more cool transitions. Same as before, if you want to preview out of one of those transitions, make sure to click on it and you're going to see a preview on the right. And here you can either see all the featured, all, the, all, your, all of your favorite transitions, or you can just see them grouped into different um, categories such as blur, circle, geometric, and uh, things like that. So let's just say I like this one. And to add a transition, again, it's super simple. You drag and drop it and you just add it in between clips like this. And as you can see, it just added this thing here on the bottom, which is the transition. Right. So you, if you double click on it, for example, you can change some of the settings. Uh, but for example, maybe you want to make it a little bit longer. And as you can see, this line here increases. And there's a, there are some other settings as well, but we're just going to look at the transition duration for now. And when you're done, just click OK. And it's as simple as that. Now you just made the transition longer. Next, let's have a quick look at how you can add some titles. And we're just going to look at some super simple titles like this one. And it's actually super simple to edit. You can just click on any of the text here and just say, oops, and just say the best tutorial. Uh, video plastic right and as you can see that was actually super simple and if you select the text like this you can uh, go here on the left where it says text you can change the font change the size and apply a lot of other different settings change the color as well you can pretty much do anything you want with a text it's super super simple but now the text is actually on a black background so let's just go here to the first tab where it says uh, background and I will use this uh, one called Bokeh, add it here. And I'm actually going to move the text on a layer on top. And uh, now the text is on this background, which actually looks so much better than uh, on a simple black background. There you go. That was actually super, super simple to do. So next, uh, let's have a look. We also have some stickers here. Uh, which are super funny. Obviously, you can use some emojis, some uh, geometrical shapes. It's all, you know, here organized in different categories. Let's just have a quick look, for example, at uh, this one. So you can just add it here on top. But keep in mind, all those uh, stickers are static. They're not animated. Uh, you can just grab them here to make it larger, move it around the screen to position it somewhere else and things like that. But if you actually want to animate some of those uh, stickers, you can go here on the last panel that says more tools. And if you go here to animation, you can actually find some super easy to use presets. Uh, again, feel free to explore. But in this case, I'm actually going to use this one called slide. And as you can see, it slides from left to right. And if you just add it here on top, if you see now we have this uh, line and those uh, two circles that show that this is the place where the animation starts and this is where it ends right so so if i move this around actually i can actually click on this and uh, have it start a little bit sooner and also have it finish a little bit sooner so the whole sliding animation is going to happen much faster there we go that was actually super super simple to do a couple of other things here in the more tools. I mean, we're not going to have time to go through all of them. I don't want to burden you with too much information. I want to keep this super simple. 
But another thing that you're gonna find super useful sometimes is the stabilization. Uh, in case you have like shaky footage, for example, uh, if it's handheld footage from your camera, you know, maybe your hand was shaking a little bit, you can definitely click this button and add a couple of settings to stabilize the footage. Uh, this is pretty advanced stuff, so make sure to just play around with some different settings until you find some that work for you. I mean, you're probably not gonna get it right from the first go, but uh, you can definitely do some super cool things with a stabilization. Uh, next, I wanna show you the crop and rotate, right? So if, for example, you wanna crop the video and show just a smaller portion of it, you can do this as well. And I don't, I don't know, move this here on the sea or just move it closer to the beach. And then when you're done, just click apply. Another interesting thing, for example, let's say you want to remove some of the filters. Let's say you don't like this uh, glass effect, right? So with the video selected like this, you can click on this button of a star. And here we're going to see all the properties and all the filters applied. So for filters, you can also change the intensity if you want to make it a little bit less intense like this. But in our case, I'm just going to click the X button to remove them. All right, and next I wanna show you how you can do a little bit of chroma keying, but for that, I'm actually going to add this uh, video of a tiger on a green screen, add it here. And uh, now it's actually a little bit long, so I'm actually gonna use the split tool, which is this button right here. And now it just splits the clip in two. So I'm gonna click on the one on the right and hit backspace to remove it, because I only wanna use a small portion of this tiger. So the thing with uh, the way tracks work on uh, in video editing software is you always see the track that is on top. So right now we only see the tiger, even if the beach is uh, on the bottom, but we actually cannot see it. But it, I mean, it's still there. But we will reveal it in a minute by using the chroma key. So the way to use chroma key is actually super simple. Just click on this effect. Make sure you have the color picker selected and just click on the green color like this and boom the background disappeared and now it actually revealed what's on the layer underneath on the on the different video track so now if i cl click play i mean it doesn't really make much sense at all but it looks super cool to have this uh 3d tiger just uh, walking around this uh, aerial shot of the beach all right, so when it's all said and done and you want to export your video, just make sure you click anywhere and you don't have anything selected and uh, it's just going to export your entire timeline. And the way to do that is actually super simple. Just click this big button that says export and it's going to obviously ask you for a title and we're just going to say Tiger King. Uh, you can select the location where you want to save on in your computer. I'll just go with the default one and for quality, Personally, I prefer to have it on highest all the time. Even if it's gonna take longer to export, I suggest you have it the same. You know, if you're just getting started, I suggest you don't even mind this entire list here. Obviously, those are all different video codecs that you can use when you're exporting. But if you're just getting started, I suggest you just uh, stick with MP4. If you click on this auto button, you can export it as uh, just audio, as MP3 or WAV file, whatever you need. Uh, you can export to different devices, different TVs, or even better, if you want to export your video, you can export it and upload it directly to YouTube, Google Drive, or Vimeo, but you're obviously going to have to be signed in to do that. So uh, let's just go back and actually export it as an MP4 file, leave the settings as they are, just highest, and make sure to give a title and a location, and just click Start. And of course, depending on your edit on your computer and you know how heavy your project is, it's going to take quite a little bit of time to, to export the video. And uh, when it's done, you can just play it back like this. I'm not going to go for the whole thing. I mean, it's a pretty ridiculous uh, quick little edit that we made, but uh, I mean, uh, it just goes to show how easy it is to edit videos in uh, Movavi Video Editor Plus. So yeah, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And uh, also, if you want to purchase the Movavi Video Editor Plus, make sure to use the discount code available in the description to get 20% off. 
and before you do that you can also give it a try they have a free trial for seven days for you so you can play around with the software and see if you like it and uh yeah it's definitely worth checking out this was edward stinga from videoplasty i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one